Welcome everybody. My name is Michael Nguti Kimani uh, from Regional Center for Mapping of uh, Resources for Development. I'm here to demonstrate the regional resource hub, which is a knowledge hub for the Eastern and Southern Africa region that uh, seeks to support better decision making for fair and effective management and governance of uh, protected areas as well as uh, conserved areas. In this particular demonstration, I'll be highlighting some of the services that are available in this portal. Uh, we'll also look at the regional reference information system. We'll also look at um, the Blue Planet Hub, uh, what it is, and uh, what uh, role it plays in this particular portal, and uh, some of the knowledge products that are available uh, in this particular uh, portal. Um, straight to the demonstration, we do have uh, an analytics tool uh, within the homepage of the portal that shows the various uh, protected areas that are available in the 24 countries that we're covering. And in this case, if I pick one of the countries like Namibia, we can be able to tell uh, how many protected areas uh, are in Namibia. There are about 148. How many are recognized at the national level? That is 142. And how many are recognized at the international level? In this case, there are six. We can be able to tell uh, the designation of the protected areas, how many are uh, classified as uh, national parks, community forests, or probably wetlands, or some of them are forest reserves, we can be able to tell that. One can also be able to know uh, the governance type of the protected areas, if they are owned by the local community, how many are owned by individuals, how many are owned by the government, and also the coverage of the protected areas, both at the land and also at the marine, that is in the ocean. Uh, this data comes live from the UNEP World Conservation Monitoring Center, and uh, this data is updated every month. And uh, what we have just done is to link our regional resource hub portal with the protected planet, which is where the data for the world uh, database on protected areas is usually hosted. Um, slightly down the analytics tool, we have an a place where you can get uh, the latest information and news that is happening in the region. Uh, so this is where you'd want to go when you want to be updated on what is happening as far as uh, protected areas and conserved areas activities is concerned. Uh, we do have a section for upcoming uh, events, it's what uh, has been planned for uh, and what is in the pipeline. We also have a section for useful data portals. We do know that uh, there's quite a lot of data portals that uh, are out there uh, that are doing uh, and showcasing very important data sets uh, for our region. So what we have done, we have uh, tried to list all of them here and uh, you can access these particular portals and you can get more information uh, that, is, uh, that, that is useful. Uh, one of the knowledge products that uh, we have uh, showcased or we have, uh, we have put uh, in the portal is the State of uh, Protected and Conserved Areas Report. These are a very, very useful report that shows a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, information for the countries that uh, we are covering. So you can download this particular report from uh, this uh, portal. Uh, some of the other knowledge products that we do have are categorized into five uh, categories. We do have documents. These include things like reports, guidelines, and so on. We do have success stories and case studies of uh, useful activities that have been done in the region as far as uh, protected area, uh, protected areas and conserved areas is concerned. We do have some uh, useful story maps, uh, some infographics, as well as some videos. Uh, some of the some of the some of the categories of uh, of documents that uh, we do have, we do have like biodiversity related documents, climate change documents, blue economy, fisheries, uh, local managed marine areas, and uh, on the right side of the screen, you will be able to see some of the new uh, documents that have been added uh, of late. So this allows you to access the most recent documents and uh, knowledge products that have been uploaded. Um, some of the work that we do. Uh, include uh, some of the decision making tools uh, that are available, you'll be able to access them there. Some of the capacity building activities that uh, we are doing in the region and uh, some of them, uh, how, you can, uh, how you can be able to participate in them, you can get information there. The key actors that uh, we, are, we, are, we, we work with, you'll be able to get this information there. And uh, some of the regional priority needs that uh, we identified uh, in the region and uh, we try as much as possible to uh, meet uh, in this particular portal. Uh, we do have a section which shows the stakeholder map 
uh, the countries that we're covering as uh, intervention areas, uh, the partners uh, that are involved in this particular uh, portal, and the teams. The teams is a collection of uh, individuals who are supporting us in uh, improving the regional resource hub uh, by providing us with useful feedback. Uh, and this is purely voluntarily. They are more of ambassadors. And uh, we are doing this because we do know that covering 24 countries is not uh, a small thing. And uh, we have um, representatives from the various countries that we are covering. And uh, the role of the team uh, is to really support in uh, improving what the information that uh, we put up here and uh, adding information that we might have missed. The full, uh, the full, the full uh, title for the team is uh, Torch Barrier and the enthusiastic, available, and motivated teams. In case you want to become a team member, you can uh, apply using uh, the application form that is available on this particular page. Some of the other resources that uh, we have included uh, in the portal is information about protected areas, what they are, uh, how they can be downgraded, uh, how, the, how they are downsized, and uh, some of the categories that uh, protected areas are usually uh, classified. Uh, you can be able to get that information there. There is also some information about uh, protected area management effectiveness, uh, access to one of the global databases of, uh, of management effectiveness data. You'll be able to get information there and some resources that are useful for managing uh, protected areas. Uh, we also have information about protected areas, uh, governance and equity, some of the strategies that are available and the resources that are available at uh, your disposal. We also have information about uh, the IUCN Green List. The Green List is the, uh, really the global standards and the best practice for area-based conservation. So if you want to know how a conserved area can be enlisted in this program, you would want to visit uh, this page and get information about that. Uh, we do have information also arranged uh, at, uh, at the regional level, at the national level, as well as, as well as the community level. So at the regional level, we do have the four regional economic communities. Like in this case, we have the SADC region. We have information about, uh, about this region and some of the useful portals that uh, they do have and some of the policies and the legal instruments that uh, they do have and are useful for the region. The same case applies to IGAD some of the programs uh, that they are running, like in this case, we have the biodiversity management program, very useful program, and some of the instruments that they do have for environmental conservation, as well as the geoportal that they do have. Um, at the country level, we have information about the protected areas, um, the area they cover, both on land, and as well as the marine, uh, some of the key species that are available in that particular country, uh, some of the global protected areas that are available, and uh, the priority areas for conservation and some of the data portals that are available in that particular country, as well as uh, links of, um, of, 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 of uh, that particular, uh, of those particular portals at the international level, you can be able to get that information. At the local community, we have some information listed at the local community, some very nice activities that are happening at the community level. Uh, things like the first line of defense against illegal wildlife and trade, some useful information there. Then we have a very good project that is happening in uh, Zambia uh, called Duangwa Community Forest Project. We want to get information about what's happening there. Uh, we do have also the Blue Planet Hub. So the Blue Planet Hub is an initiative that tries to leverage on the blue economy uh, concept. And it's supposed to unlock the potential of ocean, ocean resources to support economic growth and development. So this is really a section that uh, caters for marine and coastal uh, related data and information. So in case you visit here, you'll see some of the opportunities and, uh, and activities that are happening as far as marine related information is concerned. Uh, we also do have the regional reference information system, uh, which is a tool that uh, is, in, is, is within the portal and it has a broad set of data sets and information useful for tracking various conservation policies that have specific indicators attached to them. Uh, some of the indicators that we have, uh, like for example, at the regional level, is a policy on um, African, election, uh, African Elephant uh, Action Plan. And uh, the policy tries to see how you can reduce killing of elephants and uh, illegal trades uh, in elephant products. So this particular portal has um, data, has data attached to it. 
and you can be able to see uh, the various uh, data sets as far as the reporting is concerned. So that is a quick demonstration of uh, the regional resource hub. I would encourage you to visit it during your free time. The link of the website is shub.rcmrd.org. Thank you very much.